Fluent Builder pattern is one of the creational design patterns that allows you to create complex objects step by step. My name is Remik and in today's tutorial we're gonna go through the basics of the Fluent Builder pattern, what it actually is, how to implement it properly in your .NET application and also what the benefits will achieve when you will use it in your app. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please hit the subscribe button down below, write a comment, give a like to feed the YouTube algorithm and now we are going straight into the topic. I have created the UML diagram for the test builder class that is responsible for the creation of the complex test object. As you see on the top, we have the private field of the type test. So it means that when you create the new instance of the test builder class, also automatically it will create for you the brand new test object. We have a couple of the methods for instance, the with basic info that takes a couple of the basic test parameters and the return type is the test builder. So it will return the instance of the test builder, making you the ability to use more of those methods if you would like to. So we have also the with is active method that takes only one parameter. So the is active and it will assign this is active property of the test. We can use more of those methods in the type of the chain. So you assign all of those properties at once and at the end, you can use the build method to return this test that was used in all of those methods. So the test that has all those properties filled in. And what are the benefits of using this Fluent Builder pattern? So improved readability. So as you see, we have descriptive names for all of those methods that makes the code self-documenting. Also the step-by-step -step construction. So you can build the object in logical steps, which is especially useful for complex objects. Flexibility. It's very easy to add or omit optional parameters without creating multiple constructors or method overloads. Also the separation of concerns, so the construction logic is separated from the test class itself adhering to the single responsibility principle from solid. Also the potential for the validation, so each builder method can include validation logic ensuring the object is always in the valid state. Also the method chaining, so the Fluent interface allows for more natural sentence-like structure when creating objects. Also the encapsulation, that the builder encapsulates the complex construction process, hiding it from the client code. In my API, I have one minimal API endpoint that creates the test based on the create test request. As you see, I'm using only the new operator without using a builder pattern for now. So it looks very ugly because this test object is very complex. And now I'll create the directory called builders and I'll create the test builder. And now I'll introduce the private read only field of the type test and it will be equal to the new test. I'll implement now the main method that will be used after the whole chain of the methods will be used. So the public field method that will just safely return the test. Now the first method to add will be with basic info that will take a couple of the parameters. So it will be called with basic info and the return type will be test builder. So the same class and inside of it, we will have the string test name, string description, date time start and date time end. And inside of it, we'll take this private test so the test ID will be generated as follows. So the UID dot new UID test test 
name will be equal to the parameter that we have over there. Then the test dot description will be the description test dot start date will be equal to the start and similar for the end date equal to the end and at the end of this method we'll just return this so the instance of the test builder and now i'll add also a couple of the methods that will fill the optional parameters so it will be the public test builder of course as before with its active it will take the boolean flag is active and it will assign to the test is active this parameter that was passed in here and then it will of course return the instance of this test builder and now for the rest of the optional parameters it will look exactly the same so we are having the width and the name of the property we are assigning it into the private test object and we are returning back to the caller the test builder instance and at the end also we'll have the with sections method that will assign to this test object the sections so everything that was passed in the request so it will assign to the new list and then it will return this test builder object and now in our endpoint i will remove this object initialization of the new test and i will use this test builder so i'm gonna write var test is equal to the new test builder when i will use this new test builder it will instantiate automatically this new test object and now i'm gonna use with basic info method and i will take from the request create test request dot test name create test request dot description start date and also create test request dot end date and now as you see i will be able just to use the build method at the end and it will create for me the test object with only filling those properties and this build method will return for me this test object but for me it's not the end of the chain so i will use also with is active method to assign the is active flag on the test is active the same for the with with tags so create test request dot tags after that i will assign with difficulty from the create test request difficulty then with max participants so create test request max participants and at the end with sections create test request dot sections and at the end i'm gonna use this build method to return the test object and now i can send the request to this post endpoint and will debug the whole code so when i'm send it as we see we went there and now with basic info will fill for us all of those properties and then it will return this instance of the test builder and after that it went to the with is active it assigned this to true and then it went back and once again to all of those methods step by step so as you see everything was assigned and at the end this build method is invoked to return this test object and when we expand it we see that everything that we wanted was assigned properly 
as the result, we received the same object. So 200 OK response and everything that we wanted was assigned to all of those properties. So as you see, the main benefit of the Fluent Builder pattern is that you can use those methods, but in other part of your application, maybe you would like to only use this with basic info method without assigning all of those optional parameters. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then I highly recommend to not miss any new videos to smash this subscribe button, give me the like and also the comment and see you in the next one.